this lesson for Photoshop Elements 8, we will wrap a tape measure around an apple. Actually, we will wrap a photo of a tape measure, which I downloaded from iStockPhoto.com, around this photo of an apple. To begin, we need to isolate the tape measure from its white background. On the toolbox, select the magic wand tool, and in the options bar, use a tolerance of 32, check anti-alias, but uncheck contiguous, which will allow us to select all of the white in the photo. Click anywhere on the white and the photo to select all of the white pixels. Then from the select menu, choose inverse to select just the tape measure. Click the move tool on the toolbox and then drag and drop the tape measure over the apple. We can now close our tape measure photo because we don't need it anymore. Notice that a new layer has been created in the layers panel above the, the background layer of the apple. Using the move tool, drag and drop the tape measure over the apple and then use the handles on the bounding box to rotate, resize, and move the tape measure into a position so that it looks like it's wrapping the apple. Once you're satisfied with your changes, press enter or press the green check mark to save your changes. Now our tape measure is still sitting on top of the apple even though it looks like it's wrapping around it. We need to erase the portions of the tape measure which would go behind the apple if we were actually wrapping the apple. We will use an adjustment layer with a layer mask to do that. On the layers panel, select the background layer of the apple and then create a new levels adjustment layer. Do nothing in the levels adjustment panel. Open the layers panel again and notice that a new adjustment layer has been added with a white layer mask. Click the top layer again and then from the layer menu choose create clipping mask. When you clip the tape measure to the adjustment layer you group these two layers together and you can use the layer mask on the adjustment layer with the tape measure to hide the pixels of the tape measure or to show them. When the layer mask is completely white, all the pixels are visible. But if we paint with black on the layer mask, we can hide the pixels of the tape measure. So let's choose black as our foreground color. Select the paintbrush tool. Use a soft round brush and select a size that is just slightly larger than your tape measure. You can press the right bracket to increase the brush size or the left bracket on your keyboard to reduce the brush size. The opacity of the brush is 100%. Now click on the layer mask on the levels adjustment layer and then in the photo paint over the areas of the tape measure that you want to hide. Let's use the zoom tool and drag and drop a rectangle to zoom into some of the areas so that we can see more closely what we're painting. Choose the brush tool again. Paint with black over these areas. If you paint too much out, you can then switch the foreground color to white and paint with white to paint some of the color back in. Then using the hand tool, I'm moving over to the right hand side of the apple. I'm going to switch the colors to black again, choose the brush tool, and paint with black, reducing the brush size to make sure that I've revealed all the parts of the apple I want to see and hit the tape measure. I can double click the hand tool to see the results of our painting. And it looks like we need a little bit more work over in this corner. I'm going to paint with white a little bit along here to recover some of the color there. 
and I'm going to paint with black along here to reveal more of the apple. Once you've painted over the layer mask with black and then corrected any mistakes you've made by painting over with white, our apple now looks like it's wrapped by the tape measure. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and can use it in your scrapbook projects.